Hello, everybody. I hope you are all doing fantastic on this beautiful Friday evening. I am coming on here to show you the brand new Arty gels that were released, uh, let's see, yesterday. They were released yesterday and I'm so excited about them. And I wanted to just come on here and show you the colors. Hi, Adri, how are you? I wanted to come on here and show you the colors and the consistency and just tell you a little bit about them. But before we get started, you might, if you are following the Arty gels, you might notice that I don't have all of them. I only have 15, our shipment did get split, so the other 10 are en route and should arrive hopefully on Tuesday. So I do expect them to arrive on Tuesday and then all of the orders for the Arty gels that have been made will be able to be shipped. But in the meantime, I wanted to come on here and just talk about them and show you them. They are bomb, actually. <laughs> they are fantastic and we are so excited about these new gels. So I'm going to move everything off to the side and then I will show you how to open the pot and how to store the gels. And then I will do a little bit of a demo just to show you how smooth and fantastic they are. So I'm going to move all of this out of the way. All right, the very first one I'm gonna show you is the Royal. This is the blue. And the reason why I'm gonna start with this one is because all of them come, I just broke it. All of them come with a seal right here. So then you're gonna break that seal and then they come sealed inside. You're going to take, this is the Magpie Spatula. This one is in particular is called Dame. If you haven't grabbed a Magpie Spatula, it comes in handy for so many things. I love the spatula, but in this case, this is how we're gonna open the art gel so that it doesn't make a mess. So you just kind of cut a little notch in there, push everything back, and then you're good to go. Easy, easy, and that is a beautiful color of blue. Wow. Wow, when they say royal, they weren't kidding. That's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Yes, Adri, fingers crossed that everything arrives on Tuesday. I don't know why our shipment is being held, but part of it is, and we, then we've received the other part. So here we go. So here's Royal. Then we have Army, which is this beautiful, deep. It does have, kind of have that Army feel or that khaki green, that deep khaki green feel. Beautiful color. Next, we have Nemo. Now this one feels like it is neon, but I don't think it is neon. And I'm actually gonna use this one in my demo uh, because I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of white to see what that does with paring down the color. Then we have Aubergine, which is this deep, dark, beautiful, gorgeous eggplant purple. Then we have Barbie, which is an adorable, cute. I think it's coming a lot coming off across very, very hot. Um, I wouldn't say that it's hot. I would say that it is like an adorable bright pink, but not a hot pink. It's not neon, gorgeous. And then, let me move this back over here. Then we have Sorbet. This one's gonna throw on the camera too. It feels like it's neon, but it's not. It is a yellow, kind of like a, how do I explain the color? Hmm. It does have a green undertone to it, but it's like a pastel yellowy green. Very cute color. Next we have Banana, which is a very cute color of yellow. 
Again, not neon. I know it's coming across very bright on camera, but it's not neon, just a very cute color of yellow. Then we have Orchid, which is a pastel lavender. And then we have Bubblegum. Okay, but the packaging for Bubblegum, if you could see it in real life, ooh, that is so cute. Maybe if I can move that off. Oh, that is just adorable. <laughs> Reminds me of like a cotton candy pink. Then we have Mojito, which is more like a pale, not neon, but that neon green feel, but it is pastel. Then we have Chili. I was actually nervous about Chili. I was afraid it was going to be a little bit orangey, but it is not orangey, which is really good. It is just a very good traditional red. Beautiful color. And then we have, oh, oh, then we have black, which is extremely pigmented. I actually just had a play using black. And this is, I'm going to show you in the swatch that I make. If I can get this. This is the thinnest coat of black I've ever put on something. And it is like, as black as you can get it. I was shocked. So I can't wait to show you that. Then we have white. Now there is a white tacky. Really quickly, let me tell you what the differences are. The white is going to cure without an inhibition layer. So it's great for chrome. It's great for um, nail art, highlighting things on top of top coat. You do not have to top coat over it. Uh, it's going to be just a fantastic traditional white art gel. The white tacky does have an inhibition layer, which is going to come in handy if you use it for stamping or if you use it for art that you put on and then apply um, a glitter or a pigment or something like that. So that's going to be a lot of fun to have the two different whites. Then we have translucent. Now this one, at first I was like, I'm not sure what translucent is for, but now that it has been explained what it is for, I'm really, really excited about this. I know that it doesn't look translucent in the pot, but when you apply it on a nail and you're using just that thin application, it's gonna be, it's gonna cure very clear. And because it cures without a tack, um, without a tacky layer, then you can chrome over it. So all of the uh, iridescent chromes that we have, like Anona and Danielle and Tabitha and Primrose and uh, Pandora and Shelly and all of the beautiful chromes we have, now you can make it with a translucent background so that it, it's just the coolest effect. Love, 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 love. So excited about translucent. As soon as you figure out how to use it, you're going to be like, I want to do that all the time. And then the last one that I have is Onyx, which is this gorgeous, uh, I wonder, I haven't seen yet. Oh, I have pink on that. Hold on one second. I'm wondering if Onyx has a black base. So I'm going to take out just the tiniest bit. That's all you need. For a human nail, that would probably be plenty. For this huge nail pop, I'm probably only going to get half of the nail. Okay, so it does have a black base, and then it has some shimmer in it. Can you see the shimmer? So this is going to be beautiful over top of black, which since I have that swatch that's right over there that is black, let's see what it looks like over that. Because the RD gels are so pigmented, you do need to use very, very, very little. And I'm going to show that application to you with the black. Nail pops are always, like swatch sticks are always so big. So it's hard to say very, very little. But on a human, when we have smaller nails, you're going to use just a tiny bit. So there's Onyx in action. That's really beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to move that out of the way. 
And then I'm gonna get to the fun part where I get to swatch black on a nail pop to show you how pigmented these gels are. All of these gels are HEMA free. And like I said, all of these ones are tack free. The only one that has a tacky layer is the white tacky. Unfortunately, I don't have that one today. It is in route. So all of the orders that are being placed during the Memorial Day weekend sale, they will be um, starting to ship on Tuesday once we get the rest of our order. Okay, so the black art gel. On a clear swatch stick. And I'm gonna show you each time that I dip in because I don't wanna to take too much. So I'm gonna just show you how much is on my brush. And this is the glitter detailer brush from Magpie. I really like using it for a gel brush. So I have just a tiny bit on there and I'm gonna show you how pigmented and black this gel paint is. And you can see that I am like scrubbing. Let me try and move all of this out of the way so that it can focus on me. So I am scrubbing that to thin out the gel so you can see how pigmented it is. Isn't that wild? Okay, I'm gonna grab just a little bit more, probably the same, let me grab just a little bit more, the same amount as I did last time. And I'm gonna spread that onto the rest of the nail pop. This time I got the tiniest hint just to get this side over here. Wow, that is unbelievable how black that is. And I'm even like scraping off any excess. And look at how pigmented and how black that is. Now because, right Adri, Amazeballs is right. That is, that is insane. Because these are so pigmented, then it's so important that you apply them thin. So, so, so important. I'm thinking about holidays where we're using, for instance, black gel paint uh, would be in October. And I'm thinking about like spiders and things like that. When we are creating art like that, we have to paint it so thin. Otherwise, if you are leaving a ball of gel, then it will end up like popping, it won't cure all the way. So you have to apply the arty gels very, 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 very thin. Okay, I'm going to put this in the lamp to cure. It does cure for a full 60 seconds. And then over black, I'm just going to pull some lines from some of these other colors so that you can see their pigmentation as well. Right, Jenny? So, so exciting. I know, Tammy, it's amazing. I was pleasantly surprised when I was playing around with it before I went live. So this is the red. And this, again, was a very, very thin application of red over black, and you can see how pigmented that red is. Okay, I'm gonna put a white piece of paper down instead of using the black background. That way, I'm, I'm gonna try and show you the colors of some of these that are coming across neon, but they are not neon in real life, so that you can get a really good indication. Now, all of these gels are sold individually, or you can buy them in an Essential 10-pack. The Essential 10-pack is the black, the white, the translucent, and then banana, Nemo, chili, Royal Army, and I can't remember, I think Barbie's in there. So it's the essential 10 colors. And then from there, you can make other colors. So we thought maybe that might be nice for those of you who are just getting started with Artie Gels to be able to have the essential 10 and then build your collection from there. Okay, so first off, banana. And I hope with that white background, you can see that it is not neon. It's just a beautiful shade of yellow. Tammy, I'm excited for you to get your arty gels. 
Like I said, we will start shipping them on Tuesday as soon as the rest of the shipment arrives. So I just dunked inside of here and then I'm gonna wipe off the excess and then I'm just gonna use my thumb palette. And since this is really my second time using these, I feel like I have to go in for more, but I'm trying to remember that it's really a thin application that matters. And so I'm just gonna use only what is on my thumb palette right here. How many of us usually like load up your thumb palette with tons and tons, but I have so little right there. Okay, so on top of black, I think I'm just gonna pull stripes for the sake of making this easy. It has a beautiful glide. Also yellow on top of black, look at that pigmentation. Amazing, but it really does slide really nicely. The gel paint does. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna put that down and clear my palette to show you another color. Um, are the packaging likely to leak like the old ones? Nope. They are not. So this one, it looks like the packaging popped just a little bit in transit, but I do not believe, like if I hold it upside down, let me see what's happening. Okay, so it does move just a little bit inside. I'm sorry that you can't see what's happening sideways. It does move slightly, but I do believe that this is a totally different formula, and so it's not going to seep out like the old ones did. This is going to just stay right there. Another way to prevent it from seeping out is to cut the hole and to just work out of this hole instead of opening the whole thing because once gel gets on the rung of your lid, then it's likely, gel follows gel, it's likely that it could leak out. So I would just suggest working from the hole in the middle and then you'll never have that trouble. Okay, next up I'm going to use Mojito which is a beautiful, it feels like a spring green. Wow. Oop, I went back in. This is an old habit to go back in for more gel, but really, I don't need it. Okay, so I'm just going to pull a line of mojito so you can see the pigmentation of this green. It feels like it's coming across lighter with the dark background. So I wonder what it would look like if I put it on a white background, but it is a really cute color. Adorable. Okay, next up I'm gonna pull a line of bubble gum. That is such a cute color. Okay, bubble gum. probably should have eaten dinner before I went live because I'm a little bit hungry and I'm a little bit shaky, but that's all right. Cute. I wonder what it will look like on a white background. I kind of want to just put it on the paper. That's cute. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. Cute color. So there it is on pink, or, or I'm sorry, there it is on a white background and then on a black background. Adorable. 
Okay, last up, I'm gonna pull Orchid. And then I wanted to just mix a little bit of white into the orange and the yellow so that you can see the tone. It's so hard when we're on a camera because it picks up, you know, brighter with the lighting and things like that. So I wanted you to be able to really see the tone of the color. So here is, let me come back out a little. So here is Orchid, which is a beautiful, adorable pastel purple. And I wonder what would happen if I didn't put it on my thumb palette. Let's experiment. Actually, it feels like I have a lot on there. <laughs> All of these goodies and more are available at magpiebeautyusa.com. And this weekend is our Memorial Day weekend. It does end on May 29th, 2023. And you can save 20% on these brand new Artie gels this weekend only. Very cute color. Let's see it on the white background. That's a cute color of purple. I have so many ideas of what people can do with these beautiful paints. They have a great consistency. Like I said, they glide really, really nicely. And for them to be so pigmented on a black background, pretty darn awesome. Okay, so that is a little bit of the colors. And now I just want to, before we say goodbye, I just want to clear the deck a little. And I'm going to just mix a little bit of orange. Before I do, let me put that on the white background so you can see. we see a couple of the glitter ones. Tammy, the only glitter one that I have currently is Onyx and I'm happy to show that to you. Hold on one second. I don't have the gold or the silver, the rose gold or the copper yet. Those will be arriving in our shipment that arrives on Tuesday. And I can come back live and show you those. Very cute. So I just wanted to see the tone of orange that it would become when it was mixed with white. And it's just a very cute, cute tone of orange, just like I wanted it to be. I'm really excited about that. All right. I think other than showing you that, the last thing I wanted to show you, or the thing that has been requested, uh, before I, the last thing I wanted to show you is the Onyx, which is a gorgeous, pewter, shimmery black. And I actually put this over black. Let me find where I put that swatch. Here it is. I swatched it over black, and it's just gorgeous. Now, all of these Artie Gels can be used for full nail enhancement. You can use them as a gel color. You can use them as art. Uh, you can use them over top coat, or if you wanted, you can top coat over top of them. So that you have a lot of versatility with all of these beautiful Artie gels. Jenny, you read my mind. She wants to see the translucent with chrome on top, por favor. Absolutely, I'm happy to do that. That was the last thing I was gonna show. So let me just clear the decks. I'm trying not to make a giant mess on my desk. Let me just clear this off. How cute is the cute little half palette? Adorable. Okay, here we go. I have a swatch. So I wanted to do it over clear because <clears throat> the trend is to have a clear chrome. So I'm gonna put 
a layer of translucent over the swatch, give it a full cure, and then we will chrome over top of it. Does anybody have a request for what chrome we use? As long as it's translucent and not fully opaque, make all the requests, please. All right, here we go with the translucent gel. And I'm really afraid I'm gonna <clears throat> get gel on my new pot. So let me clear this white background. Okay, here we go. Oh, unicorn, that was a, you know what, Tiffany? Unicorn is a really good suggestion. Let's put unicorn over this, which uh, I'll get it in just a second. Okay, <clears throat> translucent. Like I said, in the pot, not translucent, but because we painted on very, very thin and it cures clear, actually, I'm going to take more. Earlier I, sh earlier, I showed you with black that I took the tiniest bit to show you how pigmented it is, but I do want to get a full layer on this pop. So I'm going to take an appropriate amount. I still have black in my in my swatch stick, hold on, or in my brush. Let me clear that off because I do want it to be a really good swatch. So let's start again. How many of you watching have unicorn? It's such a beautiful, clear gorgeous chrome. I can't wait to see it. All right, here we go. Hello, how are you? Thanks for joining, Mia. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to just get a little bit of translucent. Cover this whole swatch. You do want it to be a thin application. Always remember, thin is best. especially when we're doing big amounts of nail art. I know that Magpie has been sharing, for instance, the uh, bird that was shared, and then today there was a flamingo that was shared using the new Artie gels. And I hope that what you see is that she is applying it very, very thin, because if not, then the gel underneath wouldn't cure all the way. And what would happen to your art is it would kind of get soft and squishy and your client would be able to just peel it apart. So make sure that you are applying it very, very thin I'm going to put this in the lamp to cure for a full 60 seconds, and then I'm going to grab the unicorn chrome. Okay, Tiffany, I have bad news. I don't see the unicorn chrome up in our stash, but I do have rainbow. Rainbow is limited edition. It is very similar to unicorn. Unicorn is what is available now. This one has a green hue to it, and then unicorn has a pink hue to it, but it will give the same effect. So I'm going to get just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to clear that off because I have a little bit of black paint on my bra and my glove. Make sure that's not going to get in my chrome. Okay, beautiful rainbow and translucent. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. And then you get that clear chrome effect. Fantastic. Like I said, Rainbow was limited edition and it has a green hue to it. You can see that green iridescent. Uh, Unicorn is going to give the same holographic, but it's going to have a pink iridescent. That was awesome and so easy. That is so cool. Love that. 
Okay. Jenny, you like that it isn't completely clear? So we can see the difference. So I don't know if I even pointed out, but it was fully clear when I brought it out. And then in the pot has a little bit of a yellow hue. How long is a cure time before applying chrome? It would be 60 seconds. So you do wanna give it a full cure and then come out and the chrome just melted right into it. That was so satisfying. Now what you would do if this was a real client, you would go through with your nail file, you would just buff lightly, very gently buff the free edge, remove any excess dust, and then you would cover it with a layer of Give Me Strength and then finish it off with your favorite Magpie Top Coat. Gorgeous, wonderful. I'm so excited about translucent. Are there any questions regarding translucent or would you like to see one more demonstration with it? I have one more idea that I can do for you. Yes, that chrome was rainbow. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, rainbow is no longer available at magpiebeautyusa.com. Now you would get unicorn. It's gonna give the same holographic hue, but it's gonna have a pink iridescent kickback rather than a green iridescent kickback. So get yourself some unicorn this weekend while it is on sale during the Memorial Day sale. One more transparent demo, you got it. Okay, what we're gonna do is, hmm, what's the best color to put behind this? Let's put, let me grab a gel color, hold on one moment. Okay, I'm gonna go with Jazzy Joe as my gel color. It's gonna give the same color hue as Royal, but I do want this to be a gel color instead of a Arty Gel. Beautiful, beautiful color. I'm gonna put that in for a full 60 second cure. So is the RD gel just gel paints? Yes, they are gel paints. These are highly, highly pigmented gel paints. So you are going to be able to apply very thin layers. So these are the pigmentations over black. You can see how pigmented they are. I know that the kickback is showing, but this is yellow. And then I did mojito and then bubble gum and then orchid, but they are very, very pigmented gels. So you want to apply them very thin, which means that this eight mils of gel is going to last you a very, very long time. I'm gonna go in with my second layer of Jazzy Joe. All of the gel colors from Magpie are HEMA free. So if you have clients who have allergies, Magpie is a fantastic system. Most of our products are 95% HEMA free. The pink is speaking to you. Are you talking about this one, Nail Pot Columbus? <laughs> oh, Nail Spot. I'm sorry, I've missed the S. Nail Spot Columbus, are you talking about Barbie or are you talking about the adorable bubblegum? Both of them, so cute. Okay, this is almost done curing and then what I'm gonna do is take off the tacky layer. I'm gonna work just on the gel paint. Barbie is your favorite, absolutely. How cute is it? I'm going to take off the inhibition layer because I'm going to apply tra the translucent gel paint and then I'm gonna apply a chrome. And I don't want there to be any sticky layer. So when you are applying 
when we're working with the translucent gel, let me be very clear, and you're not applying it over velvet top or a top coat that doesn't have a tacky layer, you want to be very, very thorough to remove all of the sticky layer because your chrome is going to stick to anything sticky. So I don't want there to be any sticky layer left behind. Now I'm gonna go in with translucent and my Magpie Detailer. And you can do any design. I'm just going to sketch on some stars. Which I didn't think was gonna be so hard, but it actually kind of fades away. So I'm gonna use the light to my benefit to see where my paint is. I thought I was gonna be able to see it just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna switch gears and not do stars because I'm on a live and, <laughs> and I won't be able to see it quite as good as I'm hoping. So instead, because I'm on a live, I'm going to make my life easy and do some stripe work just so you can see the effect. And then your creativity can run wild. But my plan was to do stars and then to pull Pandora over the stars, which I'm gonna still use Pandora as my chrome to see what effect it will give because sometimes Pandora has a pink or a red kickback. So I was trying to get that patriotic feel. Okay, so if you can see, I just have some line work on there. I'm gonna put this in for a full 60 second cure, and then I'm gonna grab the chrome that I'm going to rub over top. Stripes are patriotic. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you for finding the good in that, <laughs> in that quick change. Okay, Pandora. Okay, while that is curing really quickly, let's go over what the iridescent chromes are so that you can make a good decision when you are buying chromes from Magpie Beauty USA. So the first one we have is Ruth. So these are gonna be kind of a clear chrome. Uh, you, you can see that it's white in the bottle, but it's not gonna be white when you put it on the nail. Then we have Shelly, an oldie but a goodie. We have Tabitha, so this one is a gold hue once you put it on the nail. Then we have Sinead, which is, she pulls very, very blue. Then we have Juniper, which is green. I actually love Juniper a lot. Then we have Danielle. And we have Jenny, which you can see has an orange and pink and blue hit. And then we have Anona. She's one of the most popular. And we have my most favorite, Pandora. This is the one we're gonna use right now to chrome over top of these stripes. Cute. So, so cute. Let me find my duster brush. I don't know where it is right at this moment. So I'm just gonna use my trusty applicator brush to remove all of the excess. And you can see that wherever I put those lines and I made sure to remove the tacky layer really, really well, then that is all that chromed. How cute. 
translucent is going to come in handy. Now you can use it in so many more ways than just this, but you can have like clear chrome tips where you won't have to add the bulk of a top coat. Instead, you can just have the translucent gel, which you can apply very, very thin. Then we have where you can use it over nail art, but there isn't a color. All you see is the color of the chrome rather than a black or a white underneath. You just have that clear. That is so awesome. Translucent, such a brilliant art gel. Jenny, you're so right. It's, it was so easy. That was the easiest chroming situation I have ever done. It's easier, dare I say, than with Magpie's Top It Off, which I love Top It Off for chroming. However, this was even easier. Love it. Tammy, you took all of your translucent chromes and put them on clear swatches so you can, so I can just put that over any color to see what it lo would look like. That was smart. So you went something like this and then you could see what it looks like with blue underneath. Very smart. Tiffany, such a cool effect. Like I said, when trans when she first said translucent, I'm like, what would I use it for? I don't understand. And then she showed me that she did French tips using translucent gel, and I was like, wow, this is going to be like a whole new world. Amazing. Ooh, Iwana, what a good idea to do an iridescent seashell. I probably should have done that, although... I mean, I really didn't think of it until you said it, but <laughs> it's such a good idea to do an iridescent seashell design. Um, so you, Tiffany, you're saying you don't need to top coat. So if you're going to do it like this and then put a chrome on, yes, I would definitely, definitely top coat. Otherwise, the chrome can scratch and whatnot. However, these all cure without a top coat, so they can be used on top of your top coat and they would stay shiny. Uh, because they have such a thin application, um, I, I, the, I, these are brand new, I haven't tested how, how it wears over time, but you technically don't have to top coat them. I would just be nervous because I apply them so thin that are they gonna chip off or whatnot? So it's just something that I have to still test. All right, everybody, RD gels. So, so, so excited about these new, beautiful art gels. You can get all of these products at magpiebeautyusa.com or on the Magpie Beauty USA website. I'm sorry, or on the Magpie USA app. And this weekend only, they are 20% off. So I think last I checked, the Essential 10, which comes with black, white, translucent, and then a handful of colors that you can then make other colors with, the Essential 10, I want to say there were only four left of that set, and then there were only a handful left of the full collection, and then after that they are available individually. So if you are interested in the Essential 10 or in the full collection, I would grab that sooner than later. And like I said, the sale ends on May 29th, 2023. And if you have any questions about the Artie Gels or about Chrome or about anything like that, we are always happy to help. So please send us a message. And until next time, have a good weekend. Bye.